do 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 Good morning, Salbert the Great Ass, I'm Shit Academy, teachers, staff, and students. I'm Brandon Kazalak. And I'm Mike Eaton. And welcome back to Viking AM. Today is Wednesday, March 6th. Let's begin our day of prayer. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of death. Amen. In the of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please face the flag for the pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Viking Code. Do your best, do what's right, and treat others as you wish to be treated. The fact or fiction question is, the Battle of the Alamo lasted 13 days. Do you think that is fact or fiction? Stay tuned to the end of the broadcast to see if your guess is correct. That would be nearly two weeks. No I know. Way. Today in history, in 1902, Real Madrid was founded. Wow. Oh, so cool. We have no birthdays for today. Today's main lunch is meatballs with gravy. And the alternate is chicken patty on a bun served with mashed potatoes, gravy, or seasonal fresh fruit. Now, over to green screen. Good morning, everyone. Brielle here. Today's weather is going to be a high of 44 and a low of 38. Cloudy. Today's national days are National Al Alamo Day. Shout out to you, Mrs. Flower and National Oreo Cookie Day. I personally love Oreos, especially the cream in the middle. Magnifique. Now for VSPN. On Sunday, Iowa Hawkeye player Kaylin Clark set the all-time Division I scoring record of 3,667 that was set by the NBA legend Pete Maravich in 1970. Kaylin Clark is entering the 2024 WNBA draft. On Monday, longtime Eagle Center Jason Kelsey officially announced his retirement from the NFL. He played for 13 season. He played for 13 seasons and made seven Pro Bowls. Big offseason moves have been have been made in the NFL, as the Broncos are cutting uh, quarterback Russell Wilson after two years in Denver, and the Seahawks are cutting three-time Pro Bowlers Quandre Diggs and Jamal Adams. The NFL offseason has already been a wild one, and we hope to keep you with an up and we hope to keep you with the updates. MLB spring training has begun as the Indians are currently 3-8 and eight through spring training so far. The Cavs are winners as they beat the Boston Celtics 104-105, ending the Celtics' 11-game winning streak. Cavs are down 23 in the fourth quarter, and then Cavs player Dean Wade scored 20 points in the fourth quarter to lead the comeback. Back to our regular announcements. We have no sports for today. The saint of the day is St. Marianne of Jesus of Paradise. Marianne grew close to God and his people during her short life. The youngest of eight, Marianne was born in Quito, Ecuador, which had been brought under Spanish control in 1534. She joined the secular Franciscans and led a life of prayer and penance at home, leaving her parents' house only to go to church and perform, to perform some work of charity. She established in Quito a clinic and school for Africans and indigenous Americans. When a plague broke out, she nursed the sick and died shortly thereafter. She was canonized by Pope Pius in 1950. The liturgical feast of St. Mary Anne of Jesus of Paradise is celebrated on May 28th. St. Mary Anne of Jesus of Paradise, pray for us. That's all for today. Back to the desk. <laughs> hey, Brendan, want to hear a joke? Sure. Where do pigs rest? In a bed of hay? No, in a ham egg. Ah! We have no school this Friday. Aww. It's coming! Prepare! Prepare. We're, We're getting, getting ready, ready for the Leprechaun Fair! It's coming! Can't wait! 
The Leprechaun Fair is really great! The countdown for the Leprechaun Fair has begun. It is eight days till the fair, Mikey. That's almost over. Yay! Today we are starting our chocolate dipped pretzel sale and will continue to tomorrow. Those sound delicious. Tomorrow is also our monthly dress down. For one dollar, you can wear green gear or green. March 11th, 12th, and 13th is our pot of gold competition. Each day, the class that collects the most money will get a select an amazing prize. Prizes include movie, popcorn, pajama day, donuts, an ice cream party, dress down, or a free period in the gym or outside. Starting now through March 12th, we are pre-selling tickets for our upcoming Leprechaun Fair. Tickets are only 50 cents each, and each ticket gives you a chance to play any of our 20-plus fun-filled games. Now that's a real deal! Or enter our raffle for great prizes. The more tickets you buy, the more chances you have to play and win. We are asking that you pre-order tickets to reduce lineup at the beginning of the fair. Just look for the pre-order form in the Viking newsletter, print it out, fill it out, and send it in with your money. Orders will be filled and delivered to your homeroom teacher. Homeroom teachers will hold the tickets till it's time to use them the day of the fair. Raffle tickets, raffle tickets, rah, rah, rah. Raffle tickets, raffle tickets, sis, kumba. Now let's see if you guessed the fact or fiction question was correct. The correct answer is... The Alamo did last 13 days. Wow. I'm learning about that right now. That is a pretty long battle. Again, shout out to you, Mrs. Flower. Yeah, Mrs. Flower. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Brian Kazalak. And I'm Mikey. And, and, and that's Viking AM.